Well, greetings, YouTube. We're going to be filming the fixing of this filter queen because they are kind of rare, and why not have some footage of this? So we'll be replacing this circuit board thing today, the newer model filter queen, which no longer made in Chicago. Probably not made in Ohio anymore. Let's see. No, no, no. It says it just says Strongville, Ohio. It does, it does say that on here. Um, this is an M360. What's it on here? And that's about all I know. I'm sure some of you will correct me there. But we're just gonna pop this open. Filter Queen has that disassembly right. Pretty nice short video to do. Just remove that. Put that to the side. And that should just pop all apart. Oh, you know what I did? We didn't do this. And that should all pop apart. This is the world's largest. Thing. It's a 360 SS. It's blue in color. I was talking to somebody the other day about that. All right. I'm gonna set all this aside. I'm wondering what we're doing here. Side. Save that trouble for later. Oh boy. So it looks like I'm just in time for the switch to fall apart. It's a joyous affair. Got a circuit board. Let's see what we're dealing with here. up almost. Let's see what's here. Well, that's the, uh, that's the circuit board labeled solder side on the other side. It's good to know. Alright, so we just got this mess of wires. I got a circuit board to undo. We're just going to pull all that apart. <laughs> it's so joyous. All that just comes falling apart. Well, it certainly is uh, interesting. <laughs> I told these people I wasn't certain it was a switch, and boy was I wrong. <laughs> um, next thing we're going to do... Everywhere. So that actually looks pretty good, but I'm probably going to change that. Anyways. So that brings us to this. Get this going. Got a few screws here. Four 
screws there. That's what comes out. And it comes off. You can see how dirty that is. It's time to clean that. Shiny. Let's see the camera in there. Oh, that was too many wires for what this thing is. The switch. You can see it fell apart. Apparently I'm just going to throw that on the floor. Alright, I'm going to reach down here. We have that, and that. I'm wondering what I was getting. So I'm a big fan of replacing these every time they come in for service. Just always do. These cost almost nothing. I think getting a soda is about the same price out of a vending machine. Uh, so that's what goes there. First, we're going to put on our new. Uh, New piece. I mean, that's just like unnecessary. <laughs> There's like oil and stuff on this, so we're gonna wipe that off. Our handle goes in here like so. And we'll uh, we'll connect that on there. I'm just going to put these on by hand real quick. I don't want this thing falling off while we're trying to put it on. Bueno. Muy bueno. You know, I'm probably going to get docked from YouTube. Probably don't want me speaking anything but English. Anyways, let's get this thing. This is just so ridiculous the amount of wires this has. It's like it just like seems unnecessary for as simple as this vacuum is. And people will look at this vacuum and say it's simple. Oh, that doesn't have a circuit board in it. I'm gonna buy that. I feel kind of better about that. Further from the truth. Right, we got a wiring diagram here. All right. Uh huh. That's what it says. Uh. So. Yeah. I'm just going to look real quick on here. Look at that. Oh. Oh. These appear to be the same board. They even both say 2600 revision C. What's interesting is the newer one I have. On the very logo right there, you can clearly see it says 1998. And this new one, well, it's got those are the codes on the back of the boards. I hope what this means is this one was made in 2010. 
and this one was made in 2008. Uh, real hard to say though. Um, SW3 it says it's blue. It's just SW2 is white. All right. SW2 is white. SW3 is a blue. Oh wow, that was that's that's a trickery. I'm following instructions explicitly here because I don't want to fuck around. This part's no longer made. I got the the last one out of the warehouse. Uh, I tried to buy the last two, but somebody already beat me to the other one. Uh, so don't don't start commenting below asking me where I get these parts because they're no longer available. They don't have any more in the warehouse. These people are very very lucky to be getting this. I guarantee you they will not appreciate it. All right. So there's that. So we got those two. All right. Then the apparently that's what that goes in there. Oh, you know what I'm doing this. I forgot to put Mr. Cardboard back. Let's see how far along I am on this. All right. Cardboard is back where he should be. If we put this back without the cardboard, who knows what will happen? <laughs> uh, am I a simple asshole or what? There we go. Stupid shit. Alright. We were motor. have three blue terminals right next to each other. <laughs> That's uh that was nice of them. Alright. So where's white gonna go? Oh we are it's white. Right, yellow. SW1 is yellow. It's like playing battleship here with all these codes. Alright. Is that everything from the switch? Yep. Alright. Bet you these go right next to the motor. Outlet dome. One goes to the switch. Right. To the switch. Well, the other one goes to react number two. Alright. Next in the wire up is the indicator light. And then we got black is going where? Oh, the thing marked light. Alright, so next we got two leads from the motor, which is blue. We got that red from the motor. It's next to the red from the 
indicator lights. All this for a second speed that nobody is going to use. Well, this one says motor. I bet you that goes in there. Oh, yeah, it sure does. So the cord is marked SW1 in line. Oh, and then there is a black so that you don't mix up the neutral and the black. So we're going to. Those are two different sizes, but the the black and the white marked dot don't match up. That's kind of funny. Okay, so that's how we wire that. Let's put the circuit board back where it lives. Well, so it looks like they've had a couple different circuit boards because they got two different mounting plate parts for the board. There's actually a place here to mount a board and a place here. So uh, that could get confusing when you're putting this back, I suppose. Ah. Alright. As you know, I always like to put circuit board screws in by hand. They don't ever need to be torqued a whole lot. And I would sure hate to over torque one and split a board. Alright, there's that. I believe there was another screw. We'll throw that thing away. Broken switch. Sure was. Yeah, I met a lot of techs who are okay with putting things back together without all their screws. That's always, 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 always bothered me. So I'm gonna do that, line that up. You know, if they, they, if they thought there should be two screws in something, you probably should put two screws back in it. That's how that sits in there. It doesn't look like it should sit in there like that, but it does. Do a nice wipe down. Alright. That. Alright, everything's sitting in there evenly. We're not pinching any wires. Put the. Now if you really wanted to be a chop shop, you could be switching serial numbers on these things fairly easy because the serial number plate comes off right here. Uh, it's not like a Kirby where it has it marked multiple times or... I guess you could do that with a couple other vacuums, I suppose. They're just stickers, but... This is fairly boring, isn't it? Could be watching boobs bounce on YouTube or sure something else more exciting than me fix this, but thankfully everybody likes to tune in and watch this. And you don't need a whole lot of torque with this machine. Alright. Swear I wiped all that down already. So let's see if it works.
light didn't seem to be working, but our altitude messes with all that stuff, and some of those things just never work. I can't really get too obsessive about that sort of stuff. There's no adjustment screw on this anyways. Something that's cool about this is you can see that the bin is clear. So if I stick a red Mila pen, you can see it's this translucent bin. Um, but when you you have it up in there, you can't really tell. You're using it like that. You, you really would have to shine something in there pretty good to see it. Gaskets are always something I'll spend a little extra time with. Always vacuum polish on the gasket. To try and preserve these gaskets from splitting in this dry climate I live in. I guess the machine lives on that too. Alright. So what is a Quick and dirty filter clean uh, service. I guess this is something I always appreciated as well. Warding into the it's a piece of cardboard, it's the same way they've been doing it forever. Um, I'm gonna wipe this down. Hopefully. I've gone archaeological. Put this on here. You want to change these every six cones. These little filters under here. People forget about them. I like to put fresh ones in for customers when we can. This guy. The dirt doesn't really stick in here. As you notice, I wipe down most stuff with the vacuum cleaner in a wet rag. Uh, it's not like a Dyson or something where it really cakes in here. Unless they've been smoking in the house. Um, I don't know why that is, but the filter queens are never as bad as some of this other cyclonic vacuums. Uh, they were the first cyclonic vacuum, to my knowledge. Uh, 1927, and then that was followed up by uh, the Compact TriStar in 1939, I want to say, 1938, something like that. So cyclones have been around for a while, but these are just monocyclones. There's not multiple cyclones going on like there is in a Dyson and some of these other bagless things. Um, though the thing they got right was changing the, the intake on the cyclone with that paper is absolute genius. Um, of course, paper bags still had a patent on them from Airway when this was made, so that's kind of why it went this way. I'm sure some of you vacuum friends will fill me in a little bit better on my history. But my service, 
as you guys probably have figured out, and girls, though 80 some percent of my audience is men, according to YouTube. Um, I have figured out that I am better at taking things apart and putting them back together than I am remembering history lessons. So. Light. Not all of them light at this altitude, it's just something I've noticed over the years. If you saw me replace the part, I, I did wire the thing to the schematic exactly how it was. You saw it took a little while. Um, so there's not much I can do. I'd like to say I could order a new one of these and say it's hey, defective, but again, they're not making it, so that's going to have to make do. Um, I guess I could go through the hassle switching this out, but going to do that. So the customer's going to get these back as a souvenir. This I'm going to take and wash real quick. Well, thanks for tuning in and always please subscribe. We're so close to that subscriber uh, threshold that we need to appease the Google gods. Um, and if you want to you want to talk about something other than Filter Queen or this vacuum, uh, go to our Facebook page. We, we're doing all sorts of conversation there too, so definitely post there. We're going to be doing some Google Hangouts and things like that as well. Uh, so as always, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, thank you uh, to all my Patreon supporters.